Hello everyone, and today's video is for those who want to become hackers, or should I say ethical hackers, or penetration testers, or in short, pen testers. And in this video, we will be discussing what API is, what are its usage, types of APIs, vulnerabilities in APIs, and finally, tell you how to hack or exploit APIs. For again, ethical reasons, educational reasons. Most importantly, our learning to hack API can help you in your career. So let's begin. First things first, what is an API? An API stands for Application Programming Interface. And an API is a set of programming instructions that allow one piece of software to interact with another. In other words, it's a way for different software to talk to each other. So who use APIs and what are the use cases of APIs in modern applications? There are several use cases of APIs in today's digital world, some of the most common ones being one, in web applications, and APIs are used in web applications to allow third-party developers to access data and functionality. For example, Yahoo Finance API, Skyscanner Travel APIs, etc. The second is by software developer. To give you an example, a software developer uses an API to request information from a web application. In example, a REST API for Microsoft SharePoint that allows access to Microsoft Fast Search service. Third, by banks and financial institutions. APIs allow banks to offer their customers the ability to link their accounts with third-party applications. This allows customers to track their spending, budget better, and even save money. For example, currency converter APIs provide currency exchange rates based on the current markets and various central banks' data. Fourth, streaming service providers. An API allows users to save videos or episodes to watch at a later time without having to use the provider built-in function. API can also be used to create a custom applications that work with multiple streaming services. For example, Daily Motion API is a video streaming API that allows developers to build great application for video sharing. Retail organizations. By using APIs, retail organizations can more easily integrate with third-party applications and services which can help them better manage their inventory, process payments, and track customer data. For example, Amazon Price API provides real-time price information of Amazon product. Thus, it must be clear that APIs are used extensively by software developers in all kinds of industries and domains. We can also now deduce what makes APIs so important. So APIs allow developers to access data and functionality from other applications. They allow applications to interact with each other. They allow developers to develop new and innovative applications. They allow developers to create applications that are more reliable and efficient. They allow developers to save time and money. They make it easier to scale application. So next, let's briefly see a few specific APIs to give you an idea about their functionality. So the first and foremost is a SOAP API. And a SOAP API uses HTTP protocol to communicate with web services and exchange data. A SOAP API can be used to access web services written in any programming language. The second is REST API, and REST API is an acronym for Representational State Transfer. It is a web service that uses 
HTTP methods to create, retrieve, update, or delete data. A REST API can be used to access a database, file system, or any other resource. Third is JSON APIs, and JSON APIs is an application programming interface for machines to exchange data in the form of JavaScript object notation, JSON. It is a simple text-based format that is easy for machines to read and write. HTTP APIs. An HTTP API is an interface for communicating with a web server using the HTTP protocol. It can be used to send and receive data from a web server. Last but not least, GraphQL. And GraphQL is a query language for building APIs. GraphQL offers a prioritized, complete, and understandable description of the data, giving clients exactly the data they need and no more. Now, the question that may come to your mind is, why do malicious actors hack APIs? And there are multiple reasons cyber adversaries go after APIs, such as to get information about users, to get access to sensitive data, to disrupt services, to spread malware, to make money, to steal data, to exploit vulnerabilities, or to simply test and boast about their hacking skills. So what are the various vulnerabilities present in the API that these malicious actors exploit? According to the OASP organization, there are mainly 10 types of vulnerabilities that can present in API. The first one is broken object level authorization. The second is broken user authentication. The third is excessive data exposure. The fourth is security misconfiguration. The fifth, cross-site scripting or XSS. The sixth is insufficient logging and monitoring. The seventh is sensitive data disclosure. Eight, lack of input validation. 9. Lack of output encoding. 10. Broken session management. And I must add maybe one from my side, insufficient privilege escalations as the 11. Now you can follow the link given in the video description to know more about API vulnerabilities. I will leave much more information, so please look it up. And if still you have questions, leave me a message. Now let's discuss the main question. Why pen testers and ethical hackers should learn to hack APIs for learning purposes? I would highlight three main reasons to answer this question. The first, I disagree it's the first, but I, I do see it by many, bug bounty. And a bug bounty program is offered by organizations worldwide through which ethical hackers can receive recognition and compensation for reporting bugs and loopholes, especially those about exploits and vulnerabilities in the organization, website, application, and other pieces of software. The second is career progression, and hacking an API takes a certain amount of creativity and outside-the-box thinking, both highly sought-after qualities in the business world. Third, unearthing hidden API vulnerabilities in an application. And using various tools and techniques, hackers can find hidden API vulnerabilities that may be difficult to find using traditional testing methods. API hacking can help uncover hidden security flaws that threat actors could exploit to bring the application, and in some cases, the entire business operation to a standstill. If you wish to become a successful ethical hacker, or have a fulfilling cybersecurity career, you must think like a hacker and understand how a threat actor can exploit an API. Some of the most popular API hacking tools or API security tools. So let's deep dive into some of these tools. First, Postman. Postman offers enterprise class support, security, reliability, and uptime. It can proxy traffic to various scanners and offers complete API security testing coverage. 
It is open source friendly and supports multiple protocols like gRPC, WebSockets, and Socket.io. The second and most popular is Kite Runner, and Kite Runner is a capable of helping security engineers in protecting APIs by brute force routes or endpoints in modern application, and can also perform traditional content discovery at a faster speed. Third tool is Burp Suite. And ethical hackers and security engineers vastly use Burp Suite for vulnerability scanning and penetration testing of REST APIs. Burp Suite's Enterprise Edition contains Burp Scanner that can be used to scan web applications and API endpoints for security vulnerabilities. The fourth one is Neural Legion. And Neural Legion offers SaaS-based automated solutions and it is one of the well-known application security testing tools used by pen testers and security teams for web applications, API, web sockets, microservices, etc. An immediate neural legion scan results can give you a prioritized list of API vulnerabilities with minimal false positive. The fifth tool is Wallarm, Zap, and Go Test Waf are other popular and easy to use tools to scan for API security vulnerabilities. So five ways how to hack an API using various tools and techniques hackers can find hidden API vulnerabilities that may be difficult to find using traditional methods. An API hacking can help uncover hidden security flaws that attackers could exploit. So the first one is social engineering. If you want to hack an API using social engineering, the first thing you need to do is find out what kind of information the API stores and how it's accessed. Once you know this, you can start to plan your attack. One way to social engineer an API is to pose as a developer who needs access to the API for a project. You can contact the API provider and request access pretending that you are working on a project requiring API data. If you are able to push the admin into giving you the required access, you will have full access to the API and its data. Another way to social engineer an API is to find someone who already has access to the API and ask them for help. All this may sound way too easy to happen, but phishing is indeed one of the main ways malicious actors are able to get their hands on organization information assets. The second way is reverse engineering. And if you want to master API hacking, you must understand how the API works. This means reading the documentation and understanding what the API does. Once you know the API well, you can start to reverse engineer it and start experimenting with it. This means trying out different API calls and seeing what happens. You can also look at the API code to see how it works. Once you understand the API and how it works, you can start to look for vulnerabilities. Third way is through user spoofing. And user spoofing is a method of gaining access to an API by impersonating a legitimate user. By doing this, one can bypass any security measures such as authentication or authorizations. There are a few different ways to perform user spoofing, but the most common is to use the tool that allows to change the headers of your HTTP request. This way, you can make it look like you are a different user with a different IP address and browser. Once you have gained access to the API, you can start exploring and collecting data. This can be used to gather sensitive information or to launch further attacks. Fourth is perform a man-in-the-middle attack, and definitely this is one of the most common methods. In an MITM attack or man-in-the-middle attack, one intercepts communication between the users and the API server. This allows the hacker to view and potentially modify the data being exchanged. There are few different ways that man-in-the-middle attack can be carried out. One popular method 
is known as address resolution protocol or ARP spoofing. The process involves the hacker sending fake ARP messages to the users and the API servers. These messages trick the user and server into thinking that the hacker's computer is the gateway between them. Fifth, sessions replace. And session replace is a powerful tool that allows you to intercept and record all HTTP requests and responses between users and web applications. It includes all GET, POST, and cookie data. You can then reply the session to see what the user did and how the application responded. It is an effective tool for debugging web application as it allows you to see what is happening on the network level. It can also be used for security purposes and it can allow you to see if sensitive data is being leaked. Session replace can be used to hack into an API by intercepting the requests and responses between the users and the API. Now that you know the basic of how you can hack an API, here are key techniques to uncover security bugs and vulnerabilities in APIs for pen testers. Understanding the API architecture and how it works. Analyzing the API documentation. Using a web proxy to intercept API traffic. Testing the API for common security issues. So lastly, how can you protect APIs from exploitation? And if you are on your path to becoming a cybersecurity engineer, then a part of your job may require you to be responsible for protecting this API for an unauthorized access and misuse. And it is done by implementing security controls such as authentication, authorization, and encryption. Even by following simple cybersecurity principles, one can ensure that only authorized users can access their APIs and that the data is protecting from being tampered with or stolen. Final words. An API is a set of rules that allow various software to communicate with each other. An API allows an application, say Facebook, to directly access the various functions of an external application, such as ordering a product on Amazon. Another example is when you use a tool like Hootsuite to post your social media accounts. It's the APIs of those platforms that make it possible. As discussed earlier, there are several reasons an organization may release an API, such as increase its audience by enticing others to develop integrations with its popular services. In conclusion, the strategies and tools for testing and exploiting API security vulnerabilities are constantly evolving. To effectively secure APIs, pen testers need to be up to date to remain a step ahead of threat actors. And if you are someone at the beginning of their uh, cybersecurity or ethical hacking career, learning about hacking APIs will undoubtedly take you a long way. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to ask if you have any question in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.